The Chemical Equilibrium Attention! In this video hazardous chemicals are used. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of these experiments. For this experiment a glass ampule had been filled before with nitrogen dioxide. In addition to that two beakers were prepared with ice water and hot water. In the hot water the gas becomes more darker while the color becomes more pale in the ice water. This happens because the brown nitrogen dioxide exists in an equilibrium with its colorless dimer dinitrogen tetroxide. At high temperatures the equilibrium shifts to the left, at a lower temperature to the right. This can be explained with Le Chatelier's principle. When a system at equilibrium is subjected to a change, it changes to a new equilibrium to minimalize the effect of the change. In this case the effect is achieved by changing the temperature. The enthalpy of reaction of the forward reaction is negative, which means that it's exothermic. When the gas is cooled the equilibrium shifts to the right while energy is released to act against the cooling. The enthalpy of the reverse reaction is positive, so it's endothermic. This causes the equilibrium to shift to the left in the hot water to act against the increasing temperature. For the next experiment two solutions were prepared. For the first one 8.11 grams of anhydrous iron 3 chloride were dissolved in 50 milliliters of distilled water. Other soluble iron 3 salts could also be used but the amount has to be adjusted. The mixture was put aside after stirring because it takes a while for the salt to dissolve. For the second solution 0.46 grams of potassium thiocyanide were also dissolved in 50 milliliters of distilled water. Both solutions should have a concentration of around 0.1 moles per liter. The iron chloride had insoluble impurities so it was filtered. The filtrate did look more clear in reality but iron 3 chloride also tends to slowly hydrolyze. For the experiment this solution is sufficient. Next 10 milliliters of each of the solutions were mixed together. I really like the following reaction so the iron 3 chloride solution was added with a pipette first. The iron 3 ions and the thiocyanate react to form the deep red iron 3 thiocyanate. Then the rest of the solution was added. After that the solution had to be diluted until it had an amber color where it proved to be more efficient to dilute only a milliliter or two. The red color was so strong that it would have been better to take only a small portion of the diluted solution and dilute it further. Next three test tubes were prepared, each with 5 milliliters of the diluted solution. To the first one 5 milliliters of the thiocyanate solution were added. Obviously the color became more intense. To the right sample 5 milliliters of the iron 3 solution were added. The effect was not as strong but it could be seen that the solution became darker. The iron 3 and thiocyanate ions exist in an equilibrium with the iron 3 thiocyanate. In an equilibrium the reactions have not stopped. The speeds of the forward and reverse reaction are just the same making it seem as if the reaction is over. The law of mass action describing this reaction looks like this. The equilibrium constant Kc is calculated by multiplying the concentrations of the products and dividing it by the product of the concentrations of the educts. Stoichiometric numbers like the 3 in front of the thiocyanate ions are added as exponents. So for example when the concentration of the thiocyanate is increased the concentration of the iron thiocyanate has to increase so that Kc does not change. The exponent of the concentration of the thiocyanate causes it to have a higher effect on the equilibrium than the iron 3 ions. The law of mass action can also be used to describe equilibria of gases where the concentrations are replaced by the partial pressures and the equilibrium constant is called Kp. This was the chemical equilibrium. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment. 
If you want to see a synthesis that involves the chemical equilibrium, you can watch the synthesis of ethyl formate here, or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.